Palermo is the capital of Sicily. For centuries, this city has been home of many civilizations, which created a lot of layers of culture, traditions, scholars and people. This richness of diversity can be seen in the historical landmark, where you can see influence from Arab world, Roman time, from the Greek times, for the Spaniards, etc., etc., but can also be seen in the street art scene that we can see today. So we start exploring Palermo street art from La Vuciria, a very uh, popular neighbor, uh, famous for the market. In La Vuciria, the deteriorating houses are broken down up by occasional streaks of colors. Piazza Garrafello reveals a typical Palermo scene of the buildings that has been remained largely untouched since the bombings in World War II. So in this tour for Palermo about street art, I'm supported by Melis. Serena is today the woman behind the camera. During this tour in Palermo, we discover an uh, Spanish artist. She's called uh, Julieta XFS. Behind me is one of the most important murals in Palermo. It commemorates uh, Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino, two Italian judges that spent their entire life fighting against the Mafia and Cosa Nostra the local criminal organization here in Sicily. He was painted a couple of months ago to commemorate 25 years since they both have been killed in the summer of 1992. And they are two true Italian heroes, not only because they fought against the Mafia, but also because they fought against that part of the state and part of the government that was supporting the criminal organization. The French artist Christian Buemi came in Palermo around in 2015 and 2016 and painted a lot of portraits. This is one of the remaining ones of Don Vito Corleone. The French artist usually paints the faces of the local community, but I think he showed poor judgment here by painting the mafiosi characters of the Godfather movie. So we move to another neighbor, this one here is called Calza, and there are some street art here in, in all, all around this area. They are pretty old, and we found probably one by well, an artist from Milan called Pau over there. One of the most prolific artists in Palermo is Emma Jones. It's actually an artist from northern Italy, and here he painted like this 30 meter piece long in black and white. So we are now in the neighbor of Ballarò. It's a neighbor that smells and tastes life. Here is like called Piazza Mediterranea, actually just a corner, and the has been like a kind of renewed and is now like a center of social life. Uh, behind there is a very interesting murals by Collettivo FX and it's like an anti-racist murals. It shows the winners and the losers. And you can recognize the faces of Gandhi, Putin, Malcolm X and other very, very famous characters. We are near the Sant'Anna Piazza del Capo in the Capo district and it's very easy to find a stencil of uh, sacred images. They are painted by Tutto Niente, uh, a local artist. Uh, the name actually means everything and nothing. Allora, we have a small trick today in Palermo, which is this amazing map. 
It's essentially telling us all the pieces, all the and where street art is located uh, around the central Palermo. And uh, actually, it says that the mural behind is by uh, an artist from Naples called Zolta. So we discovered three distinctive uh, neighbors in Palermo today. We started from Vulceria, the market. Then we moved to Ballarat, very rough and very lively and very colorful. And we ended up in Capo, territory of the Palermitan street artist Tutto Niente. All of them are very lively, full of human life and very colorful. Their walls are like full of street art and graffiti. Now, if you come to Palermo, download this map here. You can download the PDF of this map uh, on the website www.streetartfactory.eu it's, uh, it's run by a local association and they not only map the street art in Palermo but they can help also you out with the street art around Sicily so if you come here, go on this website before thank you very much for following us and see you to the next episode